Hello, Hofstra fans. Welcome inside the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofstra.com. I'm Connor Giblin. He's the head coach of Hofstra Pride Men's Basketball, Joe Mahalik. Thanks for joining me, Coach. Glad to be here. All right, let's recap the week that you had. A couple of close contests against Elon and UNCW. Really going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one team in the conference right now in the Seahawks. What were some of the positives that you take from that game? Well, I mean, a lot of positives from the Wilmington game. I think our kids played their hearts out. I mean, we were uh, in front of 5,000 people. Uh, Great home court advantage for Wilmington, which is, is always a plus. Uh, lots of students there with their green shirts and white shirts, and it was a great atmosphere. Tough place to play, and our guys uh, really responded. They competed on every play. I mean, uh, you know, geez, we with 44 seconds to go, down three. Uh, one of their players made a terrific, tough, tough shot, and uh, you know, that's what good teams do. If someone is going to do that, and so our guys didn't quite get it done. But uh, very proud of how we played. What did you see from the offense, especially in the first half? You guys finished shooting over 50%. Your leading scorer, Justin Wright Foreman, is in foul trouble. But some other guys like Rokas Gustiz, Hunter Sabetti stepped up too. What did you see out of them? Yeah, I thought we really controlled the pace. I thought we valued the basketball. Uh, it's a team that presses on every possession. We had one costly turnover in the second half. There was a stretch from the 13-minute mark to the 7-minute mark. We probably This is probably where we lost the game because uh, – we had a couple of chances to oh, come on, actually go up one and, and didn't convert. And then we had a little stretch. Where we, but I just think once we turned it over against the, their press, which is very good. So we valued the ball. We took good shots. And when you do that, good things happen. And at 36 points in the paint, moving forward, might we see a little bit more offense from Rokas and Hunter? Well, you know, we're always trying. I mean, it's, you know, it's funny. We watched a lot of last year's tapes. And uh, this is no knock on anybody. But... Uh, Wanye Green was was just magical with how he could get the ball to to Rock and other people, and uh, you know, uh, coupled with the fact that Rokas is no longer a surprise or the fifth option, right. he's really the he's really a key for other teams when we play against them. So, you know, he's getting a lot more attention. Wanye Green's not the one passing it to him, but we're still trying, and we're going to get better at it. Uh, you know, you got to take what the defense gives you. If they're mm -hmm. taking that away, then somebody's got to make some shots. I mean, a little bit of a rough patch right now. What's the mood like around the team and in the locker room? The team's fine. The team's fine. The team's fine. And we know that we have to, you know, block out the noise, the people that are negative. Uh, and just stay, but the team's great. We had a great practice yesterday. The locker room was great the other day. Uh, you know, the team is strong, stronger than ever. You know, we had, a, we had a tough stretch, you know, and you can say their excuses, and that's fine if you want to. People can say whatever they want. Mm -hmm. But we had four out of six on the road to start. Brian Bernardi misses the game because he's sick. Deron Powers shouldn't even have played against Charleston, only played 10 minutes. People don't realize that Rokas sprained his ankle the last play of the Charleston game. Didn't practice for a week, and then we had to go play Elon. So, you know, uh, we, we are fine. Team is fine. You have a couple of games coming home now after a long period really on the road. Does that make it a little bit easier, too? Well, I hope. <laughs> I hope. I hope. It, I hope. You know, I mean, it's... You know, it's, uh, you know, we, we just played at Wilmington. Great, great home court advantage. Elon, small gym, so it doesn't take many people to fill it up, but great, great home court advantage. It's a big plus to have a good home, home court advantage. Let's take a look at the team that you face coming up this Thursday, the Towson Tigers. Had a very odd conference stretch. They lost a couple of games after being ranked as the preseason number two, but they did beat a strong Northeastern team in their last game out. It's a team that always plays a different style of basketball than you might normally see in the CAA. How are you looking at this team right now and approaching them? Well, we, we certainly are. Uh, they had a tough stretch, too. They had three, three out of four on the road to start, and the one at home was Wilmington. Uh, they had three games in six days playing those North Carolina teams, so they had a tough stretch, too. They just won two in a row, so they're getting it together. They have good talent, good size. Very physical team. Very physical team. I mean, they're... Uh, you know, they, they get some work done in that weight room, there's no doubt about it. I mean, you look at their, you look at their pictures up on the, when we do the personnel, you look like they're looking at football players. <laughs> so we got to deal with their physicality, very, very good defensive team, and, and a team that likes to control the pace. So it'll be, it'll be a real challenge. What will be the key to trying to stop those guys inside, like William Adalamoto, John Davis? Yeah, oh boy, that's, 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 that's a load. It's going to be, we got to try a bunch of different things. I mean, we're always making adjustments. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's something you have to do. Hopefully we can make the right ones. We don't always make the right adjustments, but hopefully we can we can make the right ones. One of the best things they do is miss a shot. 
You know, we told our team that the other day. One of the best things they do is miss a shot because they just do such a good job of rebounding. So we're going to have to rebound the ball. Head coach of the House Pride men's basketball team, Joe Mahalik. Thanks for joining me, Coach. Thank you. And this has been the WV Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHouse.com. Thanks for tuning in.